How's it going boys? I'm here with round one of the playoffs with your Vancouver Canucks Legends GM mode and we need to take a look at Winnipeg so we can see what we're going up against. If I can go over to their stats here. Alright, I know one guy that's going to be on their team. That's Ilya Kovalchuk with 89 points. My goodness, he was a minus one. So, you know, I don't think this team is too good defensively. Uh, he had 49 goals. Obviously, we got to watch out for him. He's a legend. Uh, he's great. God, he's 22 years old, 93 overall. I mean, what can I say about him that you can't see from the stats here? You got Mark Shifley, 87 overall. He's an elite. He's got elite potential now. I don't know what he had before, but he got 69 points this past season. Uh, Brian Little was 62. Blake Wheeler, 61. 20 goal scorer. Matthew Perot with 22 and 60 points. Uh, Nikolai Ehlers, 58. Dustin Bufflin, this is a guy I'm working, worried about on defense. 28 goals for him. Uh, 55 points in total. I mean, the guy's an absolute beast. He's how, how big is he? Oh, God, I can't see how big he is, but he's a big boy. He will sit you down if you even get near him. So, you really got to worry about him on defense. He's a plus 10. He, I think he was the best plus minus guy on the team. Uh, let me take a look here. Okay, Tyler Myers was, and he's a big boy too. So, we got a couple of big boys that we got to worry about back there. Um, I don't think there's really... They don't really have too many other talented guys. They just got a fairly deep team with... Uh, yeah, the, I'd say the worst player on their team is, like, uh, this Armia guy. Other than that, I mean, they got a really deep team. So, lots of guys that can do lots of things. Uh, Posma is probably their worst defenseman. Uh, yeah, but they, they still got lots of guys who can do lots of things. They got a deep team. And they got their superstar up front in Ilya Kovalchuk. And, you know, Mark Shifley and or Brian Little, whoever's on that line, is going to be feeding them the puck the entire time. He almost had 50 goals. So, we definitely got to watch out for him. Uh, but, yeah, I, th I think we match up better as a team. I mean, we got Nasland, but we also have a, uh, a true number one center in Austin Matthews. We also have a really good uh, first line right wing in Gustav Nyquist. Elias Lindholm also on that second line. He's very uh, he's very talented offensively. He can do lots of things with the puck. Also play a little bit of defense. Scott Stevens with 35 goals. Um, he's obviously the uh, number one guy back there. 96 overall. Uh, you got Bo Horvat, Artemi Panarin, Hampus Lindholm, Sammy Vatnin uh, on the back end there. Uh, so yeah, I mean we got we got guys who can play defense like Luke Glendening, Chris Kelly. Uh, Marcus Kruger, I know those guys can play defense. They're very good at it. Uh, even Brian Campbell can put pucks in the back of the net, even though he really didn't do that well this season. Uh, but, I mean, we, we got guys that can score. And, ooh, I need to take a look at their goalie because I, I just forgot to do that. We got guys that can score. I think we match up better offensively and defensively than the Winnipeg Jets. But who do they have in net? Connor Helbick, man, he was fantastic throughout the regular season. 36 wins, uh, just under three goals against average, which isn't that great. Uh, over nine save percentage, that's pretty good. Ten shutouts, though, that's fantastic. So, I mean, he keeps the puck out of the net most of the time. Uh, I think he's got some pretty good defense in front of him. We're going to have to come out as hard as we can and try and take game one here. So here we go. We are at home. Uh, we were one of the best, or we were the best team in the Western Conference. So we got home ice advantage throughout the playoffs, I believe, up until the Stanley Cup Finals. So here we go, game one. All right, first period. Here we go. Come on, boys, you got to come out hot. It's the first time we've been to the playoffs in a few years. So here we go. <laughs> here we go. Marcus Naslin kicking it off on the right foot. He's the captain. He's coming out strong. So. There we go, second period. Ooh, Matt Halischuk. He scores a goal past Roberto Luongo. Third period, here we, here we go. Come on. We need to have a good period, get more pucks to the net. And there we go, Gustav Nyquist past Helbjuk. There we go, we got two, two to one lead. Come on, boys, you just gotta hang on to this. There we go, come on. I would love to get one more here, I'd love to get one more. 
Come on, boys. I know we can hang on to this. Power play. There we go. Naslin with his second. He's a star in this game, and he's acting like it. We win it 3-1. to one. Naslin with two goals and an assist. Luongo with 31 saves, and Nyquist with a goal and an assist. So we come out of there with the victory, take a one to no nothing series lead against the Winnipeg Jets. Here we go, game two, still at home. And uh, yeah, we, we just gotta keep doing what we're doing. We can come out of here with the win. First period, <sighs> Adam Lowry, he gets a goal passed on us with, in the last minute of the first period. You don't like to have goals that are in the last minute. That can be really demoralizing. Second period. Oh, there we go. Gustav Nyquist and Chris Tanev. They both get goals for us. We take the 2-1 to one lead in this game. Here we go, boys. Third period. We got the 2-1 to one lead. I need you guys to get a couple more. Power play. We can't capitalize. Come on. Ooh, they got a power play and they score. Ilya Kovalchuk buries it. Oh, my goodness. All right, boys. It's tied. We need to put more pucks in the net. They're out shooting us. Come on. Come on. I don't want to go into overtime. And it looks like we are overtime now. Game two. Here we go. All right, come on, boys. More pucks than that. They're out shooting us. This is one thing that we got to improve on. And Adam Lowry ends it. My goodness. Was that his second of the game? I believe that was. Yeah, Adam Lowry with two goals this game. And he, he, he beat us. I mean, can't really say anything else than that. So... Tied one to one in the series now. There are your three stars. So yeah, we we got to come out better. Uh, three goals is, I mean, two goals isn't gonna do it. Three goals is probably pretty good. You can get three goals in three periods. I mean, I think you got a really good shot of winning the game. So just got to come out, come out strong. Get a couple early so you don't have to worry about scoring them late in the third period or even in overtime. So come on, boys, first period. Ooh, Marco Dano, my goodness. The atmosphere must be insane here in Winnipeg. Come on, second period. Oh my god, we're heavily out shooting them 21 to 11 in shots. And we, we just can't score. We just can't do it. There we go. Austin Matthews and Elias or Elias Lindholm. I think that's how it's pronounced. Somebody corrected me. I need to start saying it right. So it's like uh, Elias, uh, Elias Lindholm, something like that, <laughs> we're scoring Demirs and Panarin, there we go, oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to figure out the, uh, the right pronunciation of it, and we win game three, four to one, that's what I'm talking about, a really strong third period for us, but I, I don't want to come, I don't want to have to come back in the, these games, we need to come out strong in the first and take the lead initially, come on boys, all right, so game four, here we go. We got the two to one series lead here. All right, the AHL season has ended. Uh, let's go to player morale. I don't think they made the playoffs. Uh, Sammy Vatanen would like to talk to us. Uh, I, you know, I think the front office is making a lot of smart decisions of late. Uh, well, thanks a lot. We have a good crew who thinks they know what they're doing. There we go. No effect. That's fine. All right, yeah, the Utica Comets did not make the playoffs, unfortunately, but we are up 2-1 to one in the series now, going into Game 4 in Winnipeg. And I just found it. It's pronounced Elias. Elias. Uh, I, I still don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but anyway, first period. Here we go. All right, Marco Dano opens up the scoring, but Bo Horvat, he gets a goal and ties it up at 1. Second period. Oh my goodness, Brian Little, he gets a goal, but Yannick Hansen, he ties it up at two. Come on, boys. We need to get at least two, at least two in this period. That's what it'll take to win. They scored a goal every period. We scored a goal every period. The shots are about even. We just need to put two past Helbeck. Oh, that power play, and then they have one. Oh my goodness, there we go. Marcus Naslin, the captain, coming up big. That's what I like to see. And I think that'll do it. Sammy Vatnin with the empty netter. And we got two in this period. Like I said, we should get 4-2 is the final score. Sammy Vatnin and Yannick Hansen both with a goal and an assist. That's what I like to see. 
All right, game five coming up here. We got a chance to close out the series on our home ice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't want to play the game. No, 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 no. There we go. All right, sim game. There we go. We got a chance to close it out on our home ice in front of our hometown fans. Come on, boys. You got to come out strong in this game. First period. Okay, we came out strong. 20 shots to 9. But we didn't get anything past Helbeck. He had 10 shutouts in the regular season. He averaged one like every six games. So you know what? I don't want this to be a shout out for him. Come on. We need a couple goals here. Second period. All right. Marco Dano and Jacob Truba will score. But Brian or Brandon Sutter, excuse me. Brandon Sutter gets a goal for us, making it only a one goal lead for Winnipeg. Come on, boys. We need to come out strong here. We're out shooting them still. Oh, we just need to get pucks to the net. Just put everything on that. And Ilya Kovalchuk fires one past Luongo. Ooh, Austin Matthews keeps the lead at one, though. Come on, boys. Power play. There's our chance. And oh, my goodness. There we go. <laughs> Elias Lindholm. He gets a goal for us, and he ties it up. What a pickup at the trade deadline. We didn't go for a superstar, but we got a guy that could fill our needs, and he's good for the future. I think he was a great pickup at the trade deadline all right we're here in overtime now oh my god Bo Horvat 20 seconds in that's what I like to see and we're going on to the second round boys that is what I like to see you know I didn't think we were that good of a team but we we just closed Winnipeg out in five and they they're no slouch of a team even though they were the final seed I mean Every single team is good in the playoffs now. It's just because they have such talented legends on the team, no team is a pushover. I mean, yeah, you could say uh, Buffalo is not the greatest or whatever, Edmonton's not. But you have to remember, those two teams both had legends on it. Any team that we play is going to have a guy that's over 90 overall, a superstar on the team. that are going to have him, so nobody's a pushover. We cannot... Uh, think that just because they didn't finish as good as we did that they are a pushover and we, we came out strong against uh against a pretty good team in my opinion at least and we did really well so I, I think everything is looking up for us right now there we go we got the second round coming up against the Anaheim Ducks let's take a look at the playoff tree all right, um, so Anaheim swept LA. Wow, okay. Dallas swept Chicago. The defending Stanley Cup champions got swept by Chicago. Wow. Okay, and then St. Louis beat Nashville in six. The Islanders swept the Washington Capitals. The Buffalo Sabres beat the Columbus Blue Jackets in five. The Montreal Canadiens beat Toronto in six. And the Boston Bruins beat the Ottawa Senators in six. So you got Montreal against Boston, then the Islanders against Buffalo in the east, and in the west, St. Louis against Dallas, and Vancouver against Anaheim. All right, so let's take a look at, at Anaheim, because, I, I mean, I really don't know uh, what their team's looking like. No, I mean, obviously they still got Getzlaff. Oh, my goodness, what am I doing? They still got Getzlaff, Perry. Um, I know I added Solani to their team because he was their legend. Um, I don't know who they have in net, and apparently they have Jordy Ben now, too. So, all right, Tim Mussolini, 97 overall sniper. I mean, he's fantastic. Uh, I can't really say too much about him that you can't see from his stats there. He, he's great. Uh, they got Ryan Getzlaff, uh, 94 overall. My goodness. Oh, my God, they got Bobby Ryan back. 83 points for him. They have three first-line right-wingers. I don't know why they got Bobby Ryan back. I wouldn't have gotten Bobby Ryan. But he's on the team, apparently. Uh, 20 goals for him, too. <coughs> and it says he's a uh, says he's a second-line forward. So and then they got Corey Perry, 41 goals for him. Uh, he's going to score a lot of goals. Uh, he's going to he's gonna play you physically. He's going to score a lot of goals. That's the type of player that he is. <laughs> Ryan Kessler, a very, very good defensive center uh, in the NHL. He's one of the best. Uh, he was a, he's a Selkie finalist this year in real life, so if that doesn't speak volumes to how good he is defensively, then I don't know what does. They got David Perron, 
Uh, 25 goals, 54 points for him. That's really good. Where it starts to drop off for points. This is where it starts to drop off for points. I mean, uh, uh, only 29 for him. Uh, no defenseman in the top and uh, among their top scoring. I mean, their top two lines are their top scorers. Uh, but no defenseman. I think that's because we took their two best defensemen. Uh, other than like other than Cam Fowler, excuse me. Um, they got Simone Despray. Um, who else on their defense? Uh, Hutton, Jordy Ben, Clayton Stoner, Josh Manson. You know what? I think they have a really good team, and offensively they are very deep. But defensively, I think that is where they're weak. So, um, obviously we need to try and keep pucks out of our net. But I think we should have a little bit easier time getting pucks to the net. But obviously, it's definitely going to be really hard to score on John Gibson here. 90 overall. He's a fantastic goal. He's elite. Um, I mean, just looking at his stats, he's a fantastic goal. It's definitely going to be hard to beat him. So, yeah. I mean, 2.6 goals against average. 0.916 save percentage. I mean, the guy's really good. How many shutouts? Only two. But still, I mean, the guy is fantastic, so he's going to be hard to beat. We, we really got uh, we really got our, uh, our a challenge here, so let's go to the calendar. And we can get right into game one. We got it at home, too, so that'll really help out. Here we go. Game one at home going up against the Anaheim Ducks. First period. Ooh, Corey Perry. He leads it off, but Marcus Naslin ties it up, and then Corey Perry again past Roberto Luongo. And Anaheim takes a 2-1 lead. Second period. Oh, <laughs> Scott Stevens ties it up. We got, we're got we heavily out shooting them. We got 12 more shots in them. Third period. Just need to keep getting more pucks than that. Uh, keep putting shots on that, and I know we can beat them, so come on. Here we go, boys. Come on. Oh my goodness, it's still tied. Power play, this is our chance right here. His chance, oh my goodness, we couldn't get anything past him. I know they got a really good team, but boys, you've beat them twice already. You can beat them again. And we're going into overtime, come on. All right, here we go. Come on, we're still <laughs> heavily out shooting them. They got a power play, come on, kill it off, boys. And David Perron beats Roberto Luongo. Oh my goodness. You know, it's not going to come easy, boys. I said this in the Winnipeg series. Two goals is not enough. Two goals is not enough. Plain and simple. Two goals will not get it done, even in the playoffs. Especially in the playoffs. All right, game two. We're still at home. First period. Here we go. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Kicking it off with three goals. Marcus Naslin with a pair and Brandon Sutter with one as well. Second period. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Chris Kelly, Bo Horvath, getting everybody in on the scoring there. And we're coming out strong. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Coming out strong. Just like I said, we needed to. And uh, I, I think we got this game locked up. Although I'd love to spread the scoring out over a couple games here. <laughs> but you know what? I'll take a game like this. Austin Matthews decides to chip in on this. And John Gibson is still in net. I thought they would have taken him out by now. All the goals were scored on him. Um, after the second period, he led in five goals on 20 shots. So, I don't know why they kept him in that long. Luongo with the shutout. Naslin with two goals and an assist. And Hampus Lindholm with three assists. Alright, so we had a really, really good game too. Uh, we need to come out with the same intensity out on their home ice. Uh, actually, you know, we need to come out with more intensity than we did last game, mostly because we are on the road. We need to silence our crowd early, and I know we can win this one. So first period. All right, Yannick Hansen opens up the scoring, but Andrew Cogliano also gets a goal to tie it up. Second period. All right, Artem Artemi Panarin with two. He, he gives us a two-goal lead, but Ryan Getzlaff cuts it to one. My goodness, boys, this is a good game. We need to get a couple here. One goal is not going to do it. Anaheim is too good for only a one goal lead. Come on, boys. I know you can do it. They got a power play. Oh, my goodness. And it's a long one. It's a major. Who takes a major penalty right now? Come on. Oh, my goodness. We're heavily out shooting them. Power play. And we win it. 3-2 to two is the final score. 
Panarin with two, Horvat with two assists, and Yannick Hansen with a goal. Oh, we barely got out of that one, boys. We are up three to or <laughs> we are up two to one after three games in the series. Game four on their home ice. Come on, boys. I know you got it. And you we need to come out with the same intensity that we've had for the past couple games. First period. Ooh, alright, zero zero. You know, I'd love to see I'd love to see more shots on net. Uh, we obviously only held them to seven. It's a defensive battle right now, so you guys need to keep working your ass off. Goals are not going to come easy. Second period. <sighs> Tamu Solani opens up the scoring in the second period. I, I said it. He's a great, great player. He will score on us. Uh, we just have to hope to contain him, and we couldn't hear, so he takes a one to nothing lead for Anaheim. Come on, boys. I know we can score past Gibson. We did it six times in game two. What's stopping us here? Come on. You just need to work harder. Come on, boys. Oh, my goodness. And get more shots to the net. I mean, there has, there's has been 40 shots in the game so far. There we go. And Marcus Naslin, the two legends have scored for each team. What are we going to... Who's going to score next? And we're going into overtime now. Not... 50 shots have not even been taken total in this game. 49 is the total. Uh, it's a defensive battle in this game. Uh, we just got to keep working. Come on, boys. In overtime, who's going to score? Who's going to be the hero? And Ryan Garbett scores. My goodness. <sighs> Ryan Garbett scores. All right, checking out the three stars. Yep, there they are. No Canucks there. Unfortunately, we lose 2-1, to one, and they tie up the series at 2 as we head back to our home ice. All right, boys. <sighs> Game 5. Here we go. First period. <laughs> Ryan gets left. Scott Stevens, Ryan Garbett, and then Yannick Hansen. It's going back and forth. This is a playoff game. Nothing will come easy. There are guys working their asses off their working their asses off out there just like you you just need to work harder come on boys oh my goodness Corey Perry Tim Muslani and then uh Kurdilis. they all get goals for Anaheim they take a five to two lead in this game oh Marcus Naslin makes a game low with a quick one rolling down by two but Tim Muslani silences the hometown crowd and they extend their lead back to three all right, boys, come on. Oh, my goodness. Solani with the hat trick. Bobby Ryan decides to chip in on it. It's 8-3. to 9-3. Solani, oh, my goodness. How many goals is he going to score? Malcolm Subban's in net now. Um, I, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. They chased Luongo out of the building. Getzlaff had one. Perry had one. Solani had four. Bobby Ryan had one. Yeah, Subban got scored on four times after they pulled Luongo after being scored on uh, after being scored on five times. Yeah, Solani was seven points in one game. He's the best player, what can I say? <sighs> Alright, boys. Do or die here. Our backs are up against the wall. This is a must-win game we were the better team throughout the regular season i know we can do it i know we have it in us first period <sighs> ryan kessler uh gets a goal for him nasland ties it up but Tamu solani gives him the one goal lead from the point come on boys you just gotta work out there come on come on i really want to move on to the third round here second period Corey Perry scores again, and it's not looking good for us, boys. You guys need to come out strong, or our season is over. And it looks like it's over. Tay Mussolini gives him the three-goal lead, and I think that's going to do it. I don't think we have enough to come back against Anaheim. Anaheim is a great team. They're going to be great for years to come. Jamie McGinn scores. Uh, they're going to be great for years to come, so... I mean, what can I say about them? They're a great team. We lost to a really good team. And, I mean, it sucks that we lost. But you know what? 
I think Anaheim's going to win the Stanley Cup. So I think it feels really good that we lost to a team that was just so good. Yeah, we lost three straight, but uh, what can you do? We had a good season, boys. We really did. Last year, we didn't make the playoffs. This year, we did, being one of the best teams in the NHL. Obviously, we had a lot of new guys on the team. Uh, I think the chemistry was great this season. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and edit the scouting sign. I want to scout some more goalies. Um, let's go to the WHL for that. Uh, there's six weeks left. Let's go three weeks for goalies there. Um, like I said, uh, we really improved this past season. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, you guys were fantastic. Uh, I think the new guys on the team really gelled well with uh, really gelled well with you guys, and uh, I, I, I there's nothing to complain about this year. It was a great season, and as you saw there just a couple of seconds ago, the Dallas Stars won the Stanley Cup, so Anaheim didn't even beat Dallas. So I think it, that really puts into perspective how good this Western Conference is. And I think you boys should be proud of yourselves for how well you did. Let's take a look at the playoff three, and then we can take a look at the awards. Yeah, Dallas swept Anaheim. My goodness. Yeah, um, the Dallas Stars had a really good team. Uh, Buffalo Sabres and Dominic Koshik, he, he must have been carrying them throughout the playoffs. Because um, I know Buffalo's not bad, but they're not great. So, And Dallas, they ended up winning in seven against the Buffalo Sabres. Um, you know, I'll save the awards for the offseason. Uh, but yeah, you got you guys can't complain. We had a great season. Uh, we're just going to build on it next year. So thank you all for watching. Um, I will post a video when I will do an offseason live stream. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you next time.